It's uh, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> After a mix-up on the telephone, I accidentally went on holiday with the wrong girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Lee's team. Oh, is this recently? Uh, not recently, but um, near enough to be slightly embarrassing. OK. It was early 1979. Early 1979? <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that's fairly recently, is it? Blimey. Oh. I'm glad this story wasn't a long time ago. It would have been in the 1640s. <laughs> So, who did you think you were phoning? Um, that's none of your business. But, okay. um... <laughs> were you going out with her at the time? Was she a girlfriend? Was she a sort of... Um... She was a lady I had met in Sydney. What was the circumstance that meant that you ended up meeting this lady? Well, I mean, if you're in another country like Australia for, 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 nearly, for five months, or nearly five months, there's always a chance you're going to meet a lady or two, isn't there? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I want to know, at any point during the phone call, did you realise you were speaking to the wrong woman? No. You never realised? It was quite late at night, um, I have to admit, and I probably had uh, a thimble or two of, of wine, so right. I wasn't actually into the business of dissecting voices. And the reason you were calling was to say, come on holiday with me. Well, it was more specific than that, actually. It was to say, would you like to come and spend three or four days with me the weekend after next in Monte Carlo? Oh! Wow. Wow. I say yes. <laughs> so this girl that's answered, have you ever met this other girl, the one that you're now phoning? Yes. Who was this girl? Another sort it's of... not a matter I'm prepared to discuss right. with an almost total stranger. Got you. Right. <laughs> so, just to clarify, you're sleeping with both of these women. <laughs> Can I ask, if, is that a question or a statement? It's definitely a statement. We a all statement. Know. We're all reading In which case, I can ignore it. Yes. <laughs> yes. You've got this other woman's phone number. Now, you've phoned her up. Woman number two answers the phone. How long does the conversation go on where you think it's woman number one? Oh, it went on for seven or eight minutes. OK. So, when you put the phone down, you believe that you have now arranged a holiday with what you think is woman number one. Is that correct? You're getting better and better at right. this. Right. Now, <laughs> when is the next time you speak to woman number two? I went, in fact, ten days later to Heathrow, and you know how it takes you get there and you meet someone. I'm sure uh, everyone here will understand exactly what I'm saying. And you think three people come through and you wait forever and you look at the wretched board that says the thing has landed, and you wait and wait and wait, and no-one came at all. No tall, voluptuous blonde. I couldn't see anything like that. <laughs> and then I did see a rather... I don't mean the word dumpy in an uncomfortable <laughs> way. <laughs> um, maybe that's slightly the wrong word. Uh, brunette there, and I said she walked through... No, sorry, dumpy's the wrong word. I meant brunette. <laughs> that's, that's not going to wash. <laughs> <laughs> and she walked through, and I suddenly thought there was something vaguely familiar about her. And she looked up and looked at me and, and recognised me. <laughs> and I said to her, my, my, my dear old thing, what on earth are you doing here? Oh! <laughs> and she said, what are you doing here? I'm supposed to be meeting Geoffrey Boycott. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what are you, my dear old thing, what on earth are you doing here? And she said to me, don't you remember... <laughs> ringing up and asking me to come to Monte Carlo <gasps> for the weekend. Oh, oh, no! And you know what was so awful? God. Was that I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I did was I ran towards her to pick up her baggage. Not in order to <laughs> be altruistic and help her, but in order to read her name on her <laughs> label. <laughs> Henry, I just wondered, how was the weekend? Um, interesting. Um, <laughs> interesting. It, it wasn't what I would call a, a Grand Prix weekend, exactly. <laughs> we had <laughs> one or two rather sort of unenforced pit stops. <laughs> What do you think, Lee? Whoa. Wow, this is an amazing... Yeah, I hope it's true. true. The Monte Carlo rings true for someone like that. Oh, him. definitely, yeah, yeah. Well, look at his yeah. jacket. I would have said Butlins.
So what were you going to say? Ooh, I think it's Lord. true. I, I, yeah, I think well, it's true. I, I think it's a lie, but I want it to be true, so I'm right. going to say true. All right, you're going to say it's true. Henry, was it true or were you telling a lie? It was true. Yes! <laughs> yes, it's true. Henry did go on holiday with the wrong girl. <laughs>